Welcome back to our science class. Today we will be discussing what happens when plates collide. You have learned that convergent plate boundary is a type of boundary wherein plates move toward each other. This happens because these plates are pushed by other tectonic plates from other parts of the world which are diverging or moving away from each other. Converging plates of different crusts result to different processes and events. This video will teach you the processes involved, landforms to emerge, and geologic events to occur when different types of crustal plates move toward each other. Before we proceed to our discussion, let us recall first some terminologies that will be mentioned in this video. Oceanic crust, thinner but denser crust found under the ocean. Continental crust, thick but less dense in comparison with the oceanic crust. Lithosphere, the outer solid part of the earth, which includes the crust and the upper mantle. This is said to be divided into several pieces, we refer to as plates in plate tectonics. These vary in thickness, and its thickness is relative to its age. Asthenosphere, soft weak layer of the upper mantle that lies beneath the lithosphere. Its high viscosity and malleability facilitates the floating and movement of the lithospheric plates. Mantle, Earth's thickest layer that lies between the solid crust and the liquid metallic outer core. Subduction, a process in which an oceanic crustal plate descends beneath another plate after collision due to the difference in their densities. Magma, molten rocks formed when oceanic crustal plate thrust beneath another plate. This plate, which carries water with it, will melt due to high temperature of the mantle. Seismicity The occurrence or frequency and distribution of earthquakes in a particular geographical location. Tectonism The process of deformation in the Earth's crust that produces different geologic features such as ocean basins, mountains, plateaus, rifts, and ridges. First type of convergence that we will be discussing is the oceanic-oceanic convergence wherein two oceanic plates collide. Both crusts are dense, yet only one of these will thrust beneath the other because of gravity. This process is called subduction. The region in which the slab of lithosphere descends back to the mantle is called subduction zone. The leading portion of the cold oceanic crustal plate will eventually melt as it approaches the hat mantle. Basalt-rich magma produced is less dense, causing it to rise and find its way to the surface of the overriding plate. Volcanic eruption occurs. After millions of years of continuous volcanic activities, Volcanic Island Arc is formed. Volcanic Island Arc is a chain of active volcanoes. Parallel to this arc is the very long depression on the ocean floor called trench. Trenches, which are considered to be the deepest part of the Earth, are proofs that lithospheric plates plunges underneath. Another proof of this process is the daily seismic activities recorded by seismographs. This very slow movement of lithospheric plates along the subduction zone creates active fault planes. Epicenters, magnitudes, and depths of earthquakes occurring on these zones are recorded. This figure shows the record of seismicity in Japan from 1990 to 2006. The colored dots refer to the location of the epicenters of the past earthquakes. The different sizes of these dots pertain to the magnitude. Meanwhile, the different colors represent its depth. It is important to note that in the east portion of Japan, depths are colored orange, showing that the earthquakes here were shallow with up to 33 kilometers depth. But as you move to the west, Epicenter dots change in color to green, blue, violet, and red, showing that earthquakes were constantly getting deeper and deeper up to the depth of 800 kilometers. We can therefore conclude that the Philippine Sea Plate, which lies in the south of Japan, and the Pacific Plate, in the east, are both subducting beneath the Eurasian Plate. This subduction led to the formation of deep trenches, marking the boundaries of these plates. 
parallel to these trenches is a volcanic island arc named Japan. One of its well-known and active volcanoes is the Mount Fuji. The next type of converging plate boundary is characterized by oceanic continental convergence. In here, an oceanic crustal plate collides to a continental plate. Recall that an oceanic crust is thinner, yet denser than a continental crust. Because of this, gravitational force will cause the oceanic plate to thrust beneath the continental plate in the process called subduction. As the oceanic plate plunges back to the mantle, it carries water with it. This amplifies the melting of the subducting plate forming magma. This silica-rich molten rocks will rise and will be expelled through vents. Continuous eruption will lead to the formation of the continental arc. Continental volcanic arc is a chain of active volcanoes formed in the continents. This formation could also rise to great heights and becomes mountain ranges. Parallel to this arc is the marginal trench. Trenches mark the subduction zone that is associated with large earthquakes. This figure depicts the seismicity in the western side of South America from 1975 to 1995. Note that along the continental margin, the record of earthquake epicenters are marked by orange color. This indicates that the earthquakes here were shallow with a depth of 33 kilometers. As we move eastward, records of epicenters change colors signifying that earthquakes get deeper from 150 kilometers to 300 kilometers deep. These seismic data verify that the oceanic Nazca plate is subducting underneath the continental South American plate, forming the longest mountain ranges in the world, the Andes Mountains. Mountain ranges here are characterized by continental volcanic arc. The last type of converging plates is the continental-continental convergence. This happens when two continental crusts collide towards each other. Since both of these lithospheric plates are thick and less dense, none of this subducts. Compressive forces cause these two plates to buckle and be pushed upward or sideways. Buckling of a rock layer is called folding. This causes the formation of great mountain ranges and mountain belts. As the continental plates continue to fold, Crusts are destroyed and faulting takes place. This is proven by the occurrence of earthquakes along this convergent boundary. This figure displays the seismicity of Central Asia from 1977 to 1997. It is observable that most of the recorded earthquake epicenters are colored red, which indicates that these earthquake foci lie within the depth of 0 to 33 kilometers. This could only mean that converging continental plates causes the crust to be folded upward. Indian plate and Eurasian plate are both continental crustal plates. As Indian plate collides to Eurasian plate, the crusts were folded and crushed to form the Himalayas. It is the tallest mountain ranges in the world, and the Mount Everest has the highest peak. In summary, convergent plate boundary manifests different geologic processes and formations depending on the type of crustal plates involved. This boundary is said to be a destructive boundary because crust is destroyed when plates collide.